What's up YouTube, it's your boy Swag Buzz here back with another video. So today I'm gonna talk briefly about the massacre that happened in Huntsville, Alabama, Saturday. Uh, and then I'm gonna talk about the other games that happened over the weekend. And I'm gonna talk briefly about the games to come this weekend. But yeah, it was a massacre in Huntsville on Saturday. Jackson State blew out Alabama and them. I mean, straight up embarrassed them at home on homecoming it was embarrassing but as a jsu fan or people that like jsu i'm pretty sure that it was just a beautiful thing to see seeing that defense fly around like they were flying around see the offense finally getting things together and clicking so it was a beautiful thing to see shadur sanders is the number two quarterback i think i think he has the number two completion average in FCS, all of FCS. So that's a great thing, putting Jackson State on the map. You know, uh, we have our players just really putting the SWAC conference out there right now and really getting the, the players the attention that they deserve. Jackson State defense was a beast the other day. I mean, James Houston played well. He really set the tone for the game. He got that fumble recovery uh, and he took it to the house. Man, that was a beautiful thing to see. And that really set the tone for the game. The D-line played lights out. I mean, they gave them so many different looks. I mean, there's so many talented players on Jackson State defense. This team is on another level. They just, they put the whole swag on notice that we are on another level and y'all can't touch us right now. Y'all gotta get bigger. Man, I mean, I've seen videos of players pancaking, uh, Jackson State players pancaking the Alabama a and players. And it's just like, they just too big. So the SWAC really has to catch up to the size of Jackson State because Jackson State is going to run this conference for a while if they don't catch up with the size of Jackson State. Shadur Sanders finally got things rolling. He was throwing the ball accurately. Uh, he had a few few questionable passes that I've seen uh, watching the game back because I watched the game back over again. And I've seen a few passes that was, you know, something that he doesn't really do. I don't know what was going on. He's throwing the ball low sometimes. But man, for the most part, he did great. He was even using his legs. That really shocked me the way he was running the ball the other day. So man, he really showed, hey, I got some wheels too. I even slept on his wheels. I even said that, you know, he was more like a Jameis Winston style quarterback. Uh, he didn't really have the legs, but hey, he showed me something that I didn't really see. Like he even had a little speed on him. So that was shocking to me. Uh, hopefully that he does that a little more, but he picks his spots better and just don't run just to be running. You know, don't try to be Lamar Jackson out there uh, all the time. Pick your spots, make sure you run the ball cleanly and you know, you make smart decisions. So I'm looking forward to seeing where this team goes. I, I don't think nobody in the swag is beating them. I can't see it. Uh, their schedule for the remainder of the season is pretty easy. Uh, they have Alabama State next, which is, should be a cakewalk. This should be another blowout for them against Alabama State. But yeah, man, Jackson State is for real. They put the whole swack on notice. I think this blowout, Dion was trying to send a message. Well, Coach Prime was trying to send a message. Make sure I call him Coach Prime. <laughs> I respect Coach Prime, man. So yeah, uh, they really, they really put the swack on notice, man. This was a beautiful thing to see. The performance, special teams, offense, defense, everybody played well. So hats off to the Jack State Tigers. Y'all doing a great thing, putting the swag out there, you know, for people to want to watch swag football. So pass off to the JSU Tigers and go out there and win homecoming. All right, two games that shocked me this past weekend was Texas Southern versus Southern, the powerhouse, and Valley versus Bethune-Cookman. Well, I can't really say Valley and Bethune-Cookman shocked me. I had them as the worst teams in the swag right now, but Valley, beat Bethune Cookman. Bethune Cookman is 0-6 right now. They got, I don't know what's going on with their program. They really got to get it, get it together. I think they're probably going to be the worst team in the SWAC this season, and they may lose all their games. If y'all lost to Valley, y'all may lose all y'all games. And Valley is a team on the come up. They still not there yet. They still have to get better recruiting, get better players. But I like the coaching staff. I think once they get the players at their program, they're going to be a good team. Texas Southern, they shot me. Uh, their quarterback, hey, 
I give him his prop. He, he's for real. You know, he's for real. He's something to look out for. He's only a freshman. And so <laughs> they got some over there in Texas Southern. Alcorn versus Grambling. Uh, the winner of that was what I expected. I expected Alcorn to win that game. I didn't expect it to be as close. Uh, but, you know, Alcorn pulled it out. Like I said, I think Alcorn may represent the West out of the SWAC. Um, hoping that they represent the West and play Jackson State in the SWAC championship because I just I would just like to see Alcorn versus Jackson State in the SWAC championship at the vet. That thing would be rocking. I have to make a flight and catch that game. So, yeah, I definitely have to go to that game. Alabama State beat UAPB. That's one of those ain't nobody care games. <laughs> I'm sure nobody watched that game. I mean, UAPB, they just having a rough season. The spring season was pretty much smoke and mirrors. They just not performing how they were performing there. And they're going to lose a lot of games this season. So hopefully they do some good recruiting at the end of this season. And, you know, they bounce back because, like I said, I think they're going to have a rough season and they're going to lose a, a few more games. Fam, you went against South Carolina State. Uh, you know, that's a former MEAC foe of theirs. And this was pretty much a given. FAMU is a very good football team. They have a very good defense. So, yeah, I knew they was going to win this game. FAMU is going to be the second best team in this conference this year. Uh, but they're not going to make it to the SWAT championship because, I, like I said, I don't see Jackson State losing. And since they lost their first game to Jackson State, Jackson State is going to be out in front of them. Unless Jackson State dropped like two games, I don't see FAMU getting into the SWAT championship. But they are having a great season. Uh, and they're a pretty good football team, so they have a lot to be proud of. And maybe next year they'll be more, you know, competitive because I'm sure they're going to recruit to go against Jackson State. They're going to be thinking about Jackson State when they're doing their recruiting and try to recruit players to match up against Jackson State better. So we'll see a better matchup between FAMU and Jackson State next year. Well, I do another video where I cover week seven. So I just cover week seven in another video. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think of the games this past weekend in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel. I do swag videos all the time. So if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when the next video drop. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right. <music>